Hello friends, welcome back. Have you ever filled out a form, got distracted and then accidentally lost all of your work? Today I will show you how to prevent that in Angular. With just a few lines of code, we'll ensure that your users won't lose their unsaved changes, even if they try to navigate away. So stick around and let's dive into the can deactivate cards. So I have this Angular 18 application. So in this application, there are a couple of places where the reactive forms are used. One is the contact us and something that you can request a video to me, right? So let's say this is a form and user is trying to fill out. And then all of a sudden he distracted and he's trying to go away or do something. So see, the form is now knowing that the user was in edit mode and the data was not saved. And then it is preventing the user to stop navigating away. It is asking that there are unsaved changes. Do you really want to go? If I cancel, it will stay in the form. But if my intention is to go out, I will say OK and it goes out. Right. So that's what we are going to see how you can implement the can deactivate card. So before we get into the coding, let's quickly have some information about this can deactivate card. So what are the benefits of can deactivate card? So it protects the data, like ensures that the user don't lose the unsaved bug. It is good to improve the UX. It prompts a user confirmation whether they wanted to go away or not. And it's all about flexible controls. So it's customizable prompt and conditions based on the component state. So depending on what condition you want to prompt, you can do so. All right, guys. So it's time for the code demo, right? So in order to implement the can deactivate card, let's do three step process. It's a very simple process. So first is we will go and create a can deactivate card under the cards. So I have an interface called can component deactivate. It's basically a generic component based deactivation name. OK, you can give whatever name you want. That's absolutely fine. So what I'm doing is inside such an interface, I have a function called can deactivate. OK, so I have this interface and then we are going to have a service and the service name is can deactivate guard. When I say service, it should be injectable. That's why this is injectable at a route level. So when I say it's a service, it's injectable. So you can see I marked this as injectable and it's uh, provided at the root. All right. So now this service implements the can deactivate. OK, where is this can deactivate coming from? You can see can deactivate. This one is coming from Angular router. So this is specific to the route. So I'll explain you more in a bit. So I am implementing the can deactivate from the Wrangler router and it should be specific to your component. In our case, the component is video request form component. So I specify that the moment I specify that I need to implement the uh, can deactivate from this can deactivate. All right. So I need to implement can deactivate, which is from this can deactivate. So how do I know if I go inside this, you see this, this is an interface which has a can deactivate, which accepts a component current route and all of these things. These are the parameters. That's why I say whenever you implement some interface, you need to have that implementation done, right? So I have to do this can deactivate, which is first one is the component. In our case, the component is a video request form. And then remaining and all is optional. So we don't need to have that. It returns a Boolean. So what we're going to do is we are going to access the component dot can deactivate. If this returns true or false, let's say if written true, then we will uh, return the value of that. Uh, basically, we can actually return this. We don't need this. OK, we have to return a true or false from this. So now after you do this, what you have to do is you need to implement a function called can deactivate, right? So I go to this component, which is the video request form. I have a function called can deactivate, which returns a true and here we have something called request form. What is this request form? So users who are following me, they know what is this. This is an online course enrollment application. This is a component where you can request a video to me and then I will be giving you a video for that. So we are using the reactive form. So basically request form is nothing but a reactive form. So reactive forms, a dirty property will be set to true whenever the form is touched by the user, like the, the user start typing or changes the select box or uh, notes or description, anything that is defined on the form. If the user changes the value, the dirty property of that such form will become true. So in this logic, what we're doing is if it is true, prompt the user with the confirmation dialog. 
confirm is nothing but a javascript inbuilt prompt the prompt will have ok and cancel you would have seen this message if you say ok which means you're ok to navigate away so it will return a true if you say cancel this will return a false so eventually we'll return a true or false from this and if the form is not dirty of course they are feel free to go to a different route so we return a true directly now we know there's a function in the component we have a guard here but this guard has to go to the route that's the third step so we go to this app route.ts and this is the place where our components are loaded this is the route you see this this is the route where this page is loaded so we are saying can deactivate and then we define the can deactivate guard so technically what will happen is Angular will look for this and the moment Angular recognize that we are trying to go away, this gets kicked in. If this goes inside, it tries to evaluate and based on the value of true or false, the route gets activated or cancelled. So if the user says cancel, then the route gets cancelled and it won't allow to go to a different route. If the user says true, which is okay, then the route gets uh, satisfied and then the routes gets cancelled and the routes will go to a, a different route. So this is how you prevent data loss from uh, form from the user. So let's wrap up this. The summary is we know the scan deactivate guard protects user from data loss by allowing the route deactivation control. It simplifies to set up and apply which enhances the UI in any form driven or data heavy application. And the code can be found at this location. So feel free to go and take a look at the code at this location. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And if you have any specific questions, do let me know in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up and I will come up with many important Angular 18 concepts in the upcoming videos. So, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!